Hi and welcome. This is the What I Learned video for the City Rec Build. There were a couple of interesting learning experiences on this project. The first one, of course, was using solid lumber for the first time and jointing and planing it myself, which really feels great. It feels, mu feels much better to have something that's not sheet material because I've used sheet material only on past projects because I didn't have any joint or planer and now this really felt great to turn a piece of very rough cut wood into a nice piece of small furniture so that was great but I also realized I have a lot to learn in this area um, for example I didn't really look that properly at the, at the wood that I got um, or I did look at it, but I didn't see, for example, that there was potential damage under the surface. Um, it turned out that it had gotten wet, so um, there were some pieces of it that I had to cut away, which I wasn't aware of. Well, maybe a more experienced buyer would have seen this. I didn't, so I still need to learn a lot more about using solid lumber. But for the first project, I'm pretty pleased. One thing that I did that turned out to be a mistake was that I cut the boards to rough width before I milled them for the first time. And after I had milled them, the, the surface got off and then the damage was visible. And then I wished I had more material to be more flexible, but I'd already cut off about three or four centimeters. So um, when the jointer is wide enough for next time, I'd leave the boards as wide as possible, mill them first, and then see what areas I can use. This way I had to make the whole thing a little bit narrow because there was not that much left um, and I had to cut off those water damaged pieces. So that's what I did. Um, how do you do that if you do that? I'd be interested to know in the comments. Second thing is that obviously sometimes you have to change plans. I wanted to attach these little shelves here um, using through mortises. I wanted them to stick out here a little um, and that would have given the whole thing a much different and more handcrafted look but as the wood was so damaged I had to cut off more waste than I had planned for so these pieces actually um, were sh too short and I didn't have the extra five centimeters it would have taken to make those through mortises so I went with biscuit joints which was a lot quicker of course but doesn't look as nice but well, what do you want to do? It was all the wood that I had. Um, I had to make do with what I had. Another thing that I learned is that grain direction is something I have to pay more attention to when I mill my own lumber on my joint or planer. Um, I know about grain direction in principle, um, that you have to plane in one direction and not in the other in certain cases, because it will create tear out if you go against the grain. But actually seeing the right direction in a rough board and sticking it in the jointer or in the planer in the right direction every time you turn the board that turned out to be much harder than knowing in principle how to do that so i have to learn more about this and i have to pay more attention to how the tree grow grew and where the grain runs and which directions work and um, one thing that i also learned is that it's much better to take away less material on the planer than I did in the first couple of rounds that I used it. So I suppose a millimeter or less is much better than two millimeters because um, the more you take away, the more likely it is that you get tear out. And if you don't take away that much and it turns out to be the wrong direction, you haven't lost so much material and always have a second chance of turning the board around and then sticking it through once again. So. That's what I learned on this project. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have anything to say on these topics, I'd be really pleased to hear about it in the comments. Otherwise, I see you next time. If you want to watch inspiring videos and learn along with me, make sure you subscribe. The subscribe button is just here. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye bye. Take care.